guys, what's up? Welcome back to What the Fuck News. My name is Destry, and this is a wig. I'm just kidding, who would do that? But this is What the Fuck News, where we talk about the fucking weird side of the news that you might have missed in the last week. And if you aren't familiar with this show, this is a show that used to be on Shane Dawson's channel, but is now continuing here on my channel. So now I can say things like titties and gonorrhea. <gasps> oh my! So in case you have not seen the last 70 episodes of What the Fuck News, I shall now play all 70 of them in a quarter of a second. <laughs> Perfect, you are now caught up. Anyways though, so the first story I want to talk about today is the story that everyone and their fucking grandmothers have been talking about this last week, and that is the story of Marina Joyce. And if you're anything like me, you're probably like, who the fuck is that? I don't know. I don't know either. Apparently though, Marina Joyce is a beauty blogger who makes makeup tutorials and dress up type vlogs. But it's been in the news this last week after several of her fans and viewers were concerned about her well-being. After several of her recent videos, she's apparently acting differently, like forced almost. She has bruises all over her for some reason, which a lot of people have jumped to the conclusion like, oh, she's being abused or being forced to do something against her will. Apparently in one video there's a gun behind her? I don't know, it's weird. And while I don't know this girl, I've never seen her content. Apparently some sources are saying that she's been suffering with heavy drug abuse and that's why she's been acting so differently. But not only this, apparently she tried to set up a meeting at 6.30 in the morning in a really sketchy part of the UK, which actually alerted the authorities to go check it out because they thought that she might be kidnapped by ISIS or something fucking crazy. I don't know, there's a lot of really weird details to this story. But in an interview she had with a fellow YouTuber and news person Philip DeFranc, she claimed to be totally fine and that all of this was just some weird shit her fans did. She also claims that she isn't on any drugs right now and has never been on any drugs because, quote, Um, I actually promise, and you can see in my face, you can see in my eyes, I promise you that I promise you that I'm not taking drugs. I would never do that. But to be honest, I would say the same thing when my old pastor asked me if I ever masturbated. I would be like, no, father, I would never. You're literally masturbating right now. But whatever the case may be, if she is on drugs, or this is just a giant publicity stunt that, by the way, totally works, as she's gone from 600,000 subscribers to a million 600,000 subscribers in three days. Whatever the case is, personally, yeah, I think she's probably on drugs, she just doesn't want to admit it. Maybe she has a mental issue, I don't know. I do think, though, that everyone is just looking way too hard into this, trying to find some conspiracy, like, But if you play the footage backwards, only on a full moon, and only at this specific hotel in Santa Fe, New Mexico, it says this. Loop is a madman, help us, save us! Loop is a madman, help us, save us! Yeah, it's just stupid. So who really knows what's going on? As of now, it's all speculation, but I think honestly in this situation, if she is going through anything, she would reach out for help eventually, and I think her fans know that above anyone else. Next to what the fuck news, a rapper shot himself in the face this last week because, wait, why did he do it? Oh, there was, there was no reason? Oh, okay. Yeah, apparently he shot himself in the face for no reason. The following is slightly graphic, so if you get bothered by that shit kind of easily, you can skip forward to this time code. Oh god, that is not a time code. Code that is a picture of corn. Why? I don't, I don't know. There we go. There's the time code. Okay, click right there if you're easily disturbed. Mm. I don't give a fuck about nothing anymore. I swallowed the fucking bullet. Whoa, dude, this guy's so gangster. Dude, you should try that with a rocket launcher next time and see what happens. Right, guys? High five. Oh, I'm alone, right? Apparently, though, the rapper Casper Knight put the video up on his Facebook where he wrote very eloquently, I've been shot a couple times before, and this was like a 4 out of 10 on the pain scale after the inatile impact. Anyway, I should have used a different gun. My friend discouraged me from using the 9mm because he said it was armor PR sing. Like, what did he plan to gain from this? Personally, when I see someone shoot themselves in the face, I don't think, damn, bro, I gotta hear that guy's mixtape. I bet it's fire as shit. I usually think, damn, that guy needs to go to a mental health facility because his brain is shit. I will say, though, regardless of how stupid this guy is, you can't deny he probably tripled his fan base since this video came out. But, like, dude, was it really worth it? Now, every time that you start losing fame, you're gonna have to do something more extreme than shooting yourself in the face. Yo, what's up, guys? It's Casper. Today, I'm gonna be putting my nuts in a bowl of acid. <laughs> Yo, what's up guys? It's Casper again. Just got back from surgery. Today I'm gonna be listening to a Blood on the Dance Floor album. <laughs> Yo guys, it's Casper again. Just got my ears replaced. Today I'm gonna go lick a tiger's nipples. Last of all the fuck news, getting a tattoo is always a scary thing. Not only do you have to deal with the pain, which if you're anything like me is like, ow! I haven't even put the needle anywhere near your skin yet. I was thinking about it and it hurt. But also trusting that your tattoo artist won't make it crooked or terrible, or tattooing a giant wiener on you instead of what you wanted, which is exactly what happened in this next story, after a girl wanted a yin yang symbol, but instead got a giant dick and the word fuck on her back. And you're probably like me thinking, okay, something's not right here, that the guy just hated this chick for some reason, or like farted in the tattoo, 
tattoo chair and it stank really bad. Like, yeah, I just wanted a yin yang symbol on my back because I'm a basic bitch. <laughs> Oops, I just tuned in. Oh god, that smells like Chipotle and Starbucks. Oh my god, I have to text Lindsay about how bad this smells. But no, apparently he didn't know the girl at all, and the main reason for why he tattooed a giant dongle on a stranger's back was, quote, just because. I just want to know if when he said that, glasses dropped down and Thug Life flashed on a screen somewhere to rap music. Because if not, it should've. Obviously though, the chick sued, because who wants a giant dick on their back? No. The tattoo artist has gone to jail, or El Jailo, as my Mexican friends would call it. And I think the moral of this story is just don't trust anyone. Not even yourself. But that is it for this episode of What The Fuck News. My only question of the day for you guys is what do you think about this whole Marina Joy story? Because I really don't know. I really don't know, girl! But let me know in the comments down below. All of today's stories, as always, are in the description down below. And if you did like this video, make sure to give it a glorious thumbs up if you want me to continue doing this show. If not, then fuck you. That said, guys, I will see you next time for another What The Fuck News. Thanks for watching, and fair winds.